uh, you know, combos that end early and so on. But if someone figures out how to approach him, then he, they can kind of win neutral very consistently. Definitely. Because Luigi is slow. So mm -hmm. that's that's what Blonde get, Kid's going to attempt here. And yeah, that's how we'll it goes. See, uh, we'll see how this goes then. So the first thing I want to look out for is um, if Freyan is going to jump a lot or not. Yeah. Because at least when I play this matchup, I feel like it's difficult to um, uh, to like get anywhere if you jump. And usually you get caught. So I feel like you always need to like uh, just stay on the ground and pivot around. And uh, I want to see if he does that too. If he has the same conclusion as me, I suppose. Um, so he's jumping. He's jumping quite a bit right now. Yeah, you'll probably see a decent amount of like Freyan trying to get a little tick tick tack damage uh, with fireballs until uh, when Blanc gets at a percent where like an up air will pop him up to do his uh, combos. That wasn't quite enough to kill there, but oh, mm. that should be it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Freyan's movement is really slick with Luigi. The platform it's, movement, yeah. Yeah, considering how uh, slow he usually is. Oh, oh. oh, just got the coin, but not the one he wanted. It definitely looked like he could have connected another upper two there. I think he was worried that uh, Blanke would land on the platform, and then and he just kind of wanted to try and get the stock right out there. You know? Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, that'll be an edge guard there. I don't see Blanket grabbing that much at the moment, and uh, grab is amazing against Luigi. Yeah. So, should try to go for it a bit more, I think. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's spacing a lot of back airs, and that could be really good uh, against the brothers. But, like, if you're not careful, they can sometimes slip an up air, like, underneath it, like, with good timing. Oh, goes for an up smash. Questionable choice. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't uh, down me once you're below the stage, kind of. Especially yeah. against Pikachu, you can just drop down and do anything. Yeah, it was a very rough position for him. Oh. Okay. Oh, I was expecting a jab grab there. Yeah. Jab grab comes out faster, obviously, so maybe that. Would have given enough time. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's kind of getting cornered there and uh, lost the stock there. All right. Let's see. Oh, nice down tilt. Do you think he went into the fireball on purpose? Ah. Uh, to get higher up and have more options to up -y? Yeah, it's it's always worth just throwing it out there a lot of the time. No, I mean, uh, when Blonde Kid oh, went, Blonde went, Kid. went into the fireball, like uh, he was recovering and the upbeat into the fireball in order to be higher up so he could have more options to upbeat. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Because I feel like that, you know, that just kind of set him up to be, you know, killed outright. But, you know. Yeah, it didn't work in this instance, but maybe. That was definitely okay. pretty convincing for Blonde Kid there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Oh, can't connect it. Yeah, so a hard call out in that situation for Luigi would be to grab ledge at the perfect time. Mm -hmm. But, um, or threaten it at least. Oh. That's an up beat. This is a nice up there air to go. scoop him up there. Yeah, Freen has like tons of edge cancels with up airs and. I feel like Luigi kind of needs that. Yeah, because his normal ground movement is just so slow. Oh. Almost. You like there, Freen keeps fireballing like at short up range. Or uh, short up height, I suppose. And then um, I would say that Pika just needs to run under and yeah. grab or up smash in that situation. Like, you could also do things like a pivot up tilt. 
could catch Luigi, like, if you get under him. Uh, that's why, like, Freon has to be careful about doing these down airs, like, when Blanc hits too close, because the up tilt will just beat that out, you know? He's struggling to edge guard him now. Yeah. Okay. High recoveries are not really possible to cover for Luigi. He does not get up there in time, unfortunately. Ooh. Okay, that's... Ooh. Oh. It's. It feels like that was really close. Yeah, I'm not sure if Freem was trying to get the tech read on that or if he thought Blunkit wouldn't land on the plat or something. I think he thought uh, he might get him before he lands. Yeah, that's probably the case. But um, a couple frames off. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Pika can do that kind of spacing where you just oh. you kind of wait for Luigi's approach and then you run in and grab. Okay. Okay. They made it back. Oh, and the up smash takes it there. That's enough. Uh, I believe it's 83? He was at 88. Oh. So, uh, definitely enough. Oh. Alright, last luck. Let's see if Freen right. can uh, get a game three here. Good start. Yeah, he's getting damage on him, so now, like, if Blanga gets caught by, like, an up air, that might just be it, you know? That's the plan. There we oh, go. There we go. Man. Two. It's good stuff by Freehan to close out that second game there. Yeah, it's 1-1 one, one now. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to see a game three. Awesome. Yeah. I want to see as much Luigi as possible. <laughs> oh, he's, did we see a color switch? Yeah, Freehan seems, to to like, seems to like to do that a lot. Even like on wins and losses, you know. Is there some kind of like uh, mentality where if you win the game, then you yeah, can switch colors? Yeah, for some people it's like, oh yeah, I'll do like a counter pick to a different color, you know. Oh yeah. It can like it can sometimes get in people's heads occasionally, but. But he he won the game, right? So and then there's a color switch. Maybe that's to I don't know, like reward yourself to. Yeah. I won the game. I can now switch off this. Light blue? It might be to mess with Blanket, I don't know. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> oh. I don't think Blanket can really... Yeah, he doesn't seem too affected by <laughs> no. the color change. I oh. don't think he uh, really cares if he plays against light blue or pink Luigi. Yeah. Took some quick stocks and... Mm. Oh. That's that a nice combo. A very nice combo. And he just wow. follows him down there. And just some very crisp play from Blonkid right now. Uh, it's not looking too good for Freehan right now. Yeah. Game two was close. Game three, not so much right now. Oh, the low angled F smash. Catches him. Oh. Freehan has been getting a lot of the um, the fireballs when, yeah. when Blonkid is recovering. This should be it. All right. Yeah. And it's a rough way to end the set there. Yeah, it's like hard to like point out uh Oh. Like oh. 